I'm News Jackson and Chief Meteorologist David Eckerd. The city of Buffalo and Western New York are getting ready for a potentially historic snow event later on this week, heading into the early part of the weekend. This is a lake effect snow event. It could be dumping, get this, three to four feet, yes, feet of snow between now and the back end of Saturday. But it begs the question, what exactly is lake effect snow? Because it's a little bit different than the snowstorms that we think of sometimes in the northeast and midwest. Well, you have to know the difference between the lake temperature and the land temperature. And just like here in Florida and Georgia, there's a difference between the water temperature in the Atlantic and temperatures on land. The same thing goes on in the Great Lakes, especially in the fall and early winter months, where the water temperature on the water is significantly warmer than the water temp or than the temperature on land. In fact, right now, most of Lake Erie is sitting in the low to mid 50s. That's the body of water closest to Buffalo. Well, a good deal of the land mass in Western New York is sitting right around the freezing mark, and that 20 percent, that 20 degree difference is going to be a real factor here. Because what will happen is the cold air will continue to blow its way across Lake Erie, and as it does so, moisture from the lake will begin to lift its way northward. This is similar to what we get with sea breeze activity, just on a much bigger scale. And what's going to happen is cloud cover will continue to develop, and that cloud cover will eventually dump snow into portions of western New York. And what's really concerning with this system is the fact that the wind's going to be very, very consistent, meaning that these snow bands are going to be with portions of the areas of Buffalo, not just for a couple hours, but likely for several hours, and there's the chance that some of these bands may be setting up shop for more than 24 hours. And look at some of the computer data, and it's very, very impressive here. This is through the early part of Saturday, and you can see the model is indicating almost two feet of snow, at least in parts of Buffalo. And that may be actually kind of lowballing it. Look at the updated computer model plots here. The model is going 19 inches in Buffalo. Also want you to notice not just Western New York going to be seeing a significant uh, event here. Parts of Pennsylvania near the Erie, Pennsylvania corridor, they could end up with almost two feet of snow. Watertown and parts of upstate New York could end up with over two feet of snow as well. But we're really zeroing in the Buffalo area because there's going to be a corridor, we think, very close to downtown Buffalo, all the way back to near the Pennsylvania New York state line where some areas are going to end up with three to maybe four feet of snow. Look at these impressive numbers just south of Buffalo. We're still in the metro area, 34 inches in Evans, New York, 32 inches in Pomfret. And one thing you notice with lake effect snow events is they're very, very isolated. Notice the county that Pomfret is in, 32 inches just to the south, Jamestown, only anticipating one inch of snow. And this is going to be a potentially historic system for Buffalo, the day or the record snowfall for Friday is actually only 8.2 inches. That's almost certainly going to be destroyed. The November snowstorm record is 24.9 inches. That could be achieved. We do not think this is going to be a record breaking event overall, though. Get this the biggest snowstorm that Buffalo has seen on record was in 2001, 56.1 inches of snow. So a city that is definitely used to snow is going to get buried in it looks like later in this week heading into the weekend. It's going to cause significant transportation issues, some power outages, possibly even some roof collapses due to the weight of the heavy snow. I'm Assistant Chief Meteorologist David Eckerd for Channel 4, the local station.